um, greetings for New Year and uh, Merry Christmas from Russia. It's rather cold today in Russia. It's something like um, 19 degree uh, less than zero, um, but it is really winter. Uh, I want to introduce our university and some ad admission um, requirements for um, documents and for exams. In case you have questions, you can ask in chat or you can uh, write me by email at uh, the last slide. I will put all my phones and emails and you can uh, ask me any question you want. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Bilova Nadezhda. I'm uh, a Dean of International Medical School. Um, I am a person who is uh, responsible for admission. I am head of admission board uh, for all uh, students and for all levels of ed education. And uh, of course, I am a teacher in university. I'm an associated professor. Uh, in our new university, and uh, I, uh, unfortunately, a lot of years ago, uh, gra was graduated from our university, um, and I'm a specialist in internal medicine. Uh, let me introduce our rector, our rector Sergei Lukyanov. He is not a doctor, he is a biologist, but he is a real professor, real um, uh, person from uh, our Academy of Science, and uh, he's very interested in field of biomedicine, in field of um, research of new drugs, and in field of research of new diagnostic methods. So he's very close to medicine by from his um, uh, uh, from his beginning. He is a biologist. Uh, I want to mention that um, today we are the process of uh, elections and in April we will have elections uh, of rector and we will hope that the rector will be the same uh, because of his very, very um, good relations with uh, students and uh, um, because of his way for uh, development of university. A uh, few words about university. Uh, we are one of the oldest medical school in Russia. Uh, we were um, we, we are very proud of this. Uh, at the very beginning, we were the first medical school in Russia for women to get the medical education um, before. Uh, we will open uh, no university in Russia provide medical education for women. Uh, amount of students you can uh, see uh, the slide. Uh, we have a um, uh, rather big amount of international students. Uh, maybe not so big as section of university or for example Kursk University but we understand that medical education is uh, the very very uh, uh, difficult education a very important education and uh, we want to study um, persons who are motivated who want to be real doctors, uh, not persons who want to stay and spend some time in Russia. Uh, the process of international ranking system, uh, it is a very new uh, uh, story for uh, Russian universities. We start uh, two years ago and it is a uh, goal from our Ministry of Education and Ministry of Health for Russian University to enter international ranking system and to uh, step by step uh, uh, increase uh, our score in this system. Uh, it is rather difficult for medical universities in Russia to 
uh, be in the uh, international ranking system because uh, of the different systems of education in the world uh, and in Russia. Uh, what does it mean? It means that for most countries, medical schools uh, are part of uh, big universities, uh, classical universities, and uh, medical schools and medical departments uh, are only the one, uh, maybe not very small, but only the one part. In Russian situation, we are separate medical universities, medical schools, we are uh, not in uh, the community of classical universities, we are not under the Ministry of Education, we are under the Ministry of Health. So uh, we have no possibility to provide and to show some um, achievements and some results and some numbers uh, that we need to be uh, in international ranking system. But we try our best and now we are in two international ranking system, World University Rankings, Times Higher Education and QS World University Rankings. Uh, I show the best results, of course. Uh, of course, we are uh, in the general ranking, uh, and we are um, we can show our best results in uh, subject ranking. Uh, of course, all students want to study, but of course, all students want to live and to want to develop themselves in other ways, not only professional way. Uh, our university can provide a lot of opportunities for this. Um, we have a lot of students, uh, student organizations uh, with a huge range of um, opportunities. Uh, with different uh, styles of working and from sports to science, from art to uh, public opinion research center, you can find your personal way uh, to um, develop your skills, to find friends, to find your future way. And uh, maybe your future will be uh, in medicine directly with patients, or maybe your future way will be in organization, in medical education, or uh, in any other uh, field of medicine. Uh, it is a really big world, and uh, I need to mention that uh, for foreign students, for international students, this world is not closed, this world is open, and uh, uh, all our student organization, uh, with great pleasure include uh, international students and in some case, cases international students are the head and leaders of these um, organizations. For example, um, one of the most um, important part of our sports, it is international uh, students uh, sport group uh, from Vietnam. Uh, the best musician in our university from Nigeria. Um, so it is not only Russian students. Uh, if uh, we talk about our programs, uh, we need to show that we have from bachelor degree to a PhD program. Uh, we need to um, pay attention that uh, it is strictly prohibited in Russia to split general medicine to bachelor and master's degree programs. We can split only biology and social uh, work for the bachelor and master's. So most of our programs are specialty programs and most of them are from five to six years. General medicine, dentistry, pediatrics, and uh, it is very interesting that uh, Russia still uh, provides uh, the separate pediatrics uh, education, and our university was the first university in Russia 
uh, where pediatrics department was opened. And uh, if uh, even you are a student of general medicine, your um, part of pediatrics in general medicine will be very, very strong and professors will be very, very interested uh, at the fourth and uh, fifth years of your education. Uh, three um, research uh, programs, medical biochemistry, medical biophysics and medical cybernetics, uh, really interesting and uh, really future of medicine. Uh, and it, uh, um, it is very important to mention that uh, these three uh, programs are for uh, students who want to research, who want to find new ways of treatment and to, who want uh, to work in labs and in research universities. General medicine, dentistry, pediatrics, of course, for persons who want to treat uh, patients who want to work in hospitals and outpatients clinic. Uh, pharmacy, uh, also very interesting story for our university, not very big department, but very, very good equipped department. Clinical psychology, uh, biology, uh, biomedicine and social work. Uh, I need to mention that general medicine and biology, uh, bachelor degree biology and special uh, degree uh, general medicine uh, can be in Russian or in English, but we need to understand that general medicine from the fourth year, uh, it is a, a degree that uh, closely connected with hospitals, patients, uh, nurses, medical staff in hospitals. Uh, and of course, if you are on English program, uh, your uh, professors, your teachers will be okay with English, but patients in Russia uh, are in Russian. And uh, for Russia, it is well known that uh, if somebody ill, uh, the illness will be in your own language and uh, you will be suffering and you will uh, provide complaints in your own language. So uh, even if it is a uh, English program, you will uh, have a Russian language course, uh, Russian language exams. And from the fourth course, you need to understand that your lessons will be in the hospital with the Russian patients and with Russian medical staff. Of course, it is rather difficult to find you uh, nurses who are okay with the English. Uh, so you need to be prepared for study Russian uh, also. And uh, biology, um, uh, bachelor degree in biology in English, totally in English, it is more scientific uh, field and it is uh, rather easy to find you uh, professors and specialists in English. Uh, they are more in English than in Russian. Uh, we have two double degree programs for general medicine and our partner, uh, University of um, uh, Perugia. Uh, and um, biology and our partner University of Turin, two universities in Italy. Uh, for general medicine, this, uh, the system is so three years in Russia, two and a half year in uh, Perugia and uh, the last semester in Russia. For biology, for uh, three and a half years in Russia and uh, one semester in uh, Turing. Very interesting programs. Uh, programs are there uh, that can provide you two diplomas, Diploma of Russian Federation and Diploma of European Union. Uh, it is not prohibited to enter uh, any student to this program. It doesn't matter you uh, study for free or you study for money. It doesn't matter you are uh, from Russian Federation or 
out of the Russian Federation. Uh, the only one uh, requirement uh, additional, uh, it is two exams uh, uh, at the very beginning. You need to provide certificate of IELTS academic uh, no less than 5.5 and you can you need to pass um, in our university IMAT or BMAT exam. Uh, this exam provided from Cambridge, uh, they organize uh, this exam on our platform. Um, and from year to year, IMAT or BMAT, it depends on Cambridge. Uh, so you can try, uh, and if you, you will be uh, a success at these two exams, uh, you can um, be a part of this story. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have a lot of places for these double degree programs. Unfortunately, they, we have a very strict timetable for admission for these programs. But if somebody will be interested in this story, please ask me by mail or by phone and uh, I will answer with a great pleasure. Uh, for our story, uh, this year we have the first year of um, completing such programs in, in our university. We start seven years ago with these programs. And uh, this year, the first year for general medicine and uh, for biology, because biology was start uh, uh, four years ago, five years ago. Um, it is rather interesting. All students uh, on this program uh, successfully complete uh, uh, exams in Russia and exams in Italy and get uh, all documents and get two diplomas. Uh, but unfortunately, we have for this program a very small uh, quota, five places for general medicine, five places for biology, but you can try your best. For our story, um, for several years, we have students not only from Russia, but for from uh, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Uh, and for this year, uh, we have a student for, from South Africa uh, who is in this uh, quarter and uh, in um, case of good studying, will get two diplomas. Uh, for master degree programs, now we have three master degrees pro degree programs for medical bioinformatics, medical social uh, projects, and uh, uh, psychology in health and care system. But uh, you can enter them only if you have special degree or bachelor degree. For clinical residency, it is impossible to explain you and to show you all our programs, but you need to understand that more than 60 programs you can uh, find in our uh, university for residency. PhD programs. Uh, a lot of programs I show only big groups, uh, uh, but you need to understand uh, that in any field of medicine, you can find PhD programs in our university. You can enter them and uh, you can get a PhD uh, degree if you want or if you need. And PhD degree from three to four years uh, residency, unfortunately for us, uh, against of all other world. Now we have two years of uh, residency for any specialty, for any program. Uh, and in Ministry of Health, we have a plan to change the situation from the situation of two years to two years to five or six years, but it is the only project. And uh, this year and uh, 2021, we will admit for two year program. What will be at the end of your education? What will be at the end of six years? I don't know, maybe the situation will change and maybe our residency will be equivalent to other residency all over the world. Uh, if we are talking about university and if we are talking about a place of our university, uh, we are located in a very, very good um, 
region of Moscow, uh, very green and very uh, with very good ecological situation. Uh, and our university located in our one place for all basic and theoretical um, disciplines. Uh, you can find on the map uh, uh, the point of our university. And in this place, uh, students will study for the first three years. Uh, for the last three years, students need to be in hospitals and we have uh, our own three hospitals, big hospitals and more than um, uh, 150 uh, agreements between our university and uh, hospitals all over the Moscow. But uh, you need to understand that from the fourth course, uh, the educational system changes from the uh, timetable during the day with different disciplines. For example, for the first course, uh, the same day you, day you can have anatomy and uh, economics and Russian language and chemistry, for example. Uh, for, from the fourth course, you will have uh, two weeks of uh, ophthalmology, five weeks of cardiology, uh, 10 weeks of surgery. So you need to uh, go to the hospital and spend in this hospital whole day and spend in this hospital several weeks. Uh, so during the day, you have no um, need to transfer from the hospital to the hospital and to uh, use metro or uh, any other way uh, to go from the, uh, one place of Moscow to other place from Moscow. Uh, for all our international students, we provide a uh, hostel and uh, our hostel is uh, um, near the university, 10 minutes working from the university to the hostel. Uh, from, by the very good park, uh, so it is uh, very comfortable to uh, get from the university to the hostel, from the hostel to the university, and usually our students uh, complain to traffic uh, and explain by traffic their uh, missing of lectures or lessons or late for lectures or lessons. And uh, of course, for international students, it, it is very difficult to complain for traffic because they can only uh, work uh, from the uh, hostel to the university. Uh, what about fees and scholarships? Uh, I think that the most interesting for students scholarships and discounts uh, and uh, then fees in case no scholarship. So now we have two scholarships, uh, scholarship from, from government of Russian Federation it is a big program uh, for Russian Federation to provide free education for international students. Uh, now it is a portal Future in Russia website, Future in Russia. Uh, I put the uh, logotype on the website uh, for you to find them. Uh, and um, we have a rather big amount of places for this program. We have uh, 100 places for general medicine for this program, so you can apply. But as far as I know, um, each country have their own quota from our uh, government, and this quota is not so big that the quota in each university of Russia. Uh, and the next uh, scholarship, uh, it is our own scholarship and uh, this scholarship will start from the next year. I try my best to organize this and I spent several years for this story. It is Dr. Haas scholarship. Now, this scholarship will be provided for the student from the fourth year with the average score uh, 5.0, it is the maximum score excellent, and with additional achievements in science, sports and social life. 
Uh, this uh, scholarship will cover the uh, fees of uh, whole year education and uh, uh, can be prolonged for the fifth and sixth year of education in case of excellent marks. Uh, but uh, I understand that it is rather difficult to achieve such results, but I understand that uh, it is a very good motivation for students because till this year, uh, even if you are an excellent student, even you have uh, a good results for additional uh, achievements, you can uh, get only the discount for 10 person. Uh, and uh, the requirements for this discount semester closed in time and for excellent result, nothing more. Uh, so from fourth year, you can uh, get the scholarship from the university and uh, do not pay money. What about fees? Fees for uh, 2021 will be in May of 2021. It is a rule for uh, Russian medical schools, uh, uh, but you can see fees for 2020. Uh, and for last uh, two years, uh, the situation changed in a very, very small uh, way, in very, very, uh, uh, fees are very similar to previous year. And uh, I need to mention that the fees in our university are less than the fees in any medical school in Moscow. Of course, uh, fees are much more than fees in medical schools out of Moscow, but uh, uh, for us, uh, we understand this. For international students, it is uh, rather difficult to understand that medical schools uh, are also different and level of, of education and level of knowledge also different. For uh, what about steps, what to do and how to uh, apply and how to um, pass everything? Uh, the first step you need to get the invitation for visa and you get uh, need to get visa. Uh, visa it was uh, the rule for the period before COVID. Uh, at the COVID situation and if situation will be the, still the same in this summer, uh, you can apply uh, online and you can pass exams online and only then you can apply for invitation for visa. Um, but you still will need a visa from Sri Lanka to Russia. Uh, invitation for visa you can get from our online request form. Uh, it is located on our website. Uh, you need to understand that it takes um, at least one month to prepare your invitation for visa, official invitation for visa. Uh, and you need to know that invitation for educational visa, for visa for educational reasons, uh, free, uh, provided free from universities from Russia. Uh, so you have uh, not pay any money for invitation. Uh, then you need to apply with documents and you need to um, remember about time. Uh, we start the application process from the 20th of June every year. And uh, uh, you need to apply for Russian language programs till the 19th of August uh, for English language programs till the 15th of, of October. For lang uh, Russian language programs, uh, the educational year will start from the 1st of September. For English language programs, uh, the educational year will start from the 1st of November. Uh, for, uh, we have a lot of questions about online or offline uh, education uh, for the first year, for the next years. Uh, 
uh, previous year in uh, 2020, uh, think, uh, 16th of March, we closed for online education due to COVID. Uh, we start this semester from the 1st of September with offline education. And from the 10th of October, we uh, closed for the online and we are still online. We provide all seminars, all lectures, all materials. And for students who are in Moscow, who are in Russia, we can organize uh, uh, according to all um, uh, epidemiological uh, requirements, uh, several lessons to study anatomy uh, offline. But of course, uh, the most uh, lessons and most um, studies are offline, uh, are online. Sorry, I have a very low battery and I need several seconds to uh, turn on the computer. Okay. Perfect. Uh, how you can apply? You can apply personally uh, in university. And once more, um, for this year, uh, for 2020, uh, for previous year 2020, um, just before the admission from the ministry, uh, it, uh, we have uh, uh, a rule to transfer everything online. And this uh, year 2020, we organize everything online. I don't know what will be uh, in some of 2021, uh, but now in requirements, in uh, rules of admission, we put personally and online. Online during our webs, uh, due to our website, uh, uh, online uh, through the, our electronic system, not by email. I ask you to remember this, uh, we are not uh, analyzed documents uh, that were sent to us by email. In very, very rare uh, situations, in very rare documents, if we ask you to send us something by email, we will accept this. But if you will send uh, all your documents by all emails of our university, these documents will be out of admission board. What documents you need? You need passport, you need visa if you are in Russia, if you are out of Russia, and if the epidemiological situation will be the same. Uh, you will not have the visa. You need a copy of your birth certificate if uh, names uh, or some information different from the uh, educational certificate and passport. Uh, in some countries, in some cases, uh, we find such uh, stories. Copy of your educational certificate, all pages. Uh, usually you provide only page with marks, only page with your score, without um, the main page of your certificate. Uh, it is two different systems in your uh, countries the main document, it is a document with marks. For Russian system, the main doctor document, it is a document uh, with information what uh, college or school you uh, graduated from and uh, all other information. And marks, it is additional document. Uh, to be okay with your and our system, you need to provide all documents that provided from school. Copy of certificate of recognition of foreign education in Russian Federation, if needed, 
for every country, for every school, we can check the story. And if you need, we will uh, ask you and explain you how to get the certificate. Copy of voluntary medicine insurance policy valid in Russia and medical documents, HIV analysis, X-ray of chest and uh, a conclusion from general practitioner. Uh, if you are out of Russia, of course, you have no possibility to provide a medical insurance policy. Uh, you have no possibility to, to provide visa, but uh, medical documents you need to uh, show us. Uh, for all documents in foreign language, you need to provide translations into Russian certified by a Russian notarization or by uh, embassy of Russia. Uh, and you need to understand that surname, first name and all other names must be translated at the same way as uh, these names mentioned in visa. If you are out of Russia, if you do not have visa, of course, uh, the translations will be as translator organized. But uh, when you enter Russia, or you need to put on information in um, embassy for visa for the same in translations, or you need to change translations. The visa in uh, Russian Federation is the main document according which you are uh, legally uh, educated and studied and uh, spend your time in Russia. What about entrance exams? For Russian programs, for most programs, if you want to be a specialist in general medicine or dentistry and pediatrics, um, the same exams, if you want to be uh, educated from any other program, please ask me, I will explain you what exams you need to pass. Uh, but for main, for most of our programs, chemistry, biology and Russian language, three exams and exams will be in Russian. For English programs, two exams, chemistry and biology and exams will be in English. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, COVID or not COVID, all entrance exams for Russian or students or for foreign students are computer testing. A minimum score for each exam must be 50. If you get less than 50, you have no opportunity even to try to enter the university. Uh, and you have only one possibility to pass each test. What does it mean? If you uh, miss, for example, chemistry, and you provide the medical document that you was ill, or you provide any other document that uh, you have some problems, of course, we will provide you an opportunity to pass the exam. But if you start the exam and fail it, or you start the exam and then close it without any mark for your own reason. Or we find some um, problems with your exam from our side. Uh, you will not have the, any other possibility to pass this exam. During the exam, it is strictly prohibited to use any additional electronic device. It is strictly prohibited to use the help of other people in any way. And uh, if the epidemiological situation will be the same, uh, the computer uh, uh, testing will be uh, with uh, using of remote technologies and online proctoring. What does it mean online proctoring? Online proctoring means that you will be under the video and audio control and you need to have the possibility to provide your video and audio during the exam. And uh, proctoring will be by electronic system and by uh, professor. During all exams, uh, professors will be with you at this exam and will be 
uh, monitoring you and your monitor of computer, what you are doing on the computer. So be very, very uh, be very, very uh, accurate and be very, very motivated for passing exam without any help of anybody. Uh, you can try, uh, you can um, uh, get the repetition uh, on our website. Uh, for Russia and for English uh, programs, we have uh, two different uh, links uh, and uh, different tests. Um, unlimited attempts, different question in any attempt an opportunity to get an estimate for each attempt and to understand your level of knowledge. Uh, if you complete your attempt, you will have your mark and uh, you will have your score and you will have uh, the list of questions correctly or not correctly. You will not have correct answers. Please understand us. You will only have uh, the list of questions which marked correct or not correct. Uh, but once more, you have unlimited possibility to train. If you want to ask a question, you can do it by website or you can send me a mail or you can send me by a cell phone number, uh, iMessage, SMS, or this number is in Telegram and uh, WhatsApp. You can send me uh, messages there. Thank you very much. And I hope I will see you in our university next year. In any questions, please ask. Yes, Navida. So we have some questions in our chat section. Unfortunately, I don't see them. So can I, you see the button in uh, the window? I see chat, but it is empty for me. No open questions. Questions will be provided only for organizers. It is uh, the explanation on my uh, computer. Oh, okay, perfect. I see questions. Uh, uh, for the dual degree program, it is the, the same course fee or have to pay more. It is uh, the same course fee. Uh, and you need to understand that additional money you will need to transfer from Russia to Italy for the period of time you need to spend in Italy. And of course, you will need to have some money for uh, living and for uh, eating in Italy. Uh, nothing for, for education from our university or uh, our partner university. Uh, also, I would like to know about, about accommodation. It is located at the university or nearby. I show you the map. It is uh, 10 minutes working uh, distance. And accommodation uh, is in uh, the rooms uh, um, block uh, of two rooms, one bathroom, one toilet room, uh, one room for three persons, one room for two persons. Unfortunately, it is impossible to provide you uh, separate rooms. Um, we have no such possibility. Can I know what are the requirements for the general medicine degree? I don't know what you want to know exactly. I explain everything, I think. Uh, for general medicine, you need to pass for English program two exams, for Russian program three exams. You need to be in time, you need to provide all documents, and you need to sign the agreement and pay money. Uh, when is the next intake? Uh, once more, we will start the admission at the 
20th of June of 2021, the end of admission for Russian programs 19th of October, end of admission for English programs 15th of October. Uh, uh, 19th of August it me and 15th of October means that it is the last day for application process and providing documents. After this, we can organize your exams. And after this, we can organize you um, uh, signing the agreement and paying fees. Any other questions? I think there are no more questions. So uh, yes, I show once more uh, the slide with all my contacts. In case of any questions, I will be happy to answer. Um, you can write me or you can call me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the time and everything. So. Thank you, Ms. Natalia. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to see you. And uh, I hope that uh, COVID will stop and uh, we can see each other, not by only by computer. Yeah, definitely. Thank you once again. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye.